Andrew McGahan for SevereMMA.com here at SBG Concord, standing alongside James Galler, who fights on the Bellator London card against Mike Cutting on the 16th of July. James, congratulations, first of all, on being signed to Bellator. How did that come about? Thanks very much, Andrew. Uh, just uh, before my last Bama fight, John mentioned me that they were uh, watching me and stuff, and they were very interested in, in the way I fight and how I approach things and stuff. And uh, he says they were just very interested in me. He's all just have a think about it and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's a big like career change, and then like kind of going that way. Do you know what I mean? And once you make that move, it's you're that way, and that's that. Do you know what I mean? So he's like have a think about it, and then kind of just f- thought about it a little bit, and uh, then. I was like seeing the contract that they offered me and I was on un- on review. I would have been crazy in the head not to take it, do you know what I mean? And uh, it's like something I've always ever dreamed of, do you know what I mean? Fighting in like such a big show and front especially now in no two in front of twenty thousand people. It's like all my dreams came true since I've been thirteen, I've been like just thinking about this and just dreaming and working my way towards this, so and that's now I'm here. <laughs> well, be honest now. Was there any sort of hesitation in your head that you're like, I've gone three and zero on the domestic scene over here now. Maybe it's not the worst thing in the world to take two more fights in Ireland this year, and then if they're still interested, we look at it then. Or were you like, no, let's go for it straight away? Nah, that was never the the case. I'm a, I I know what I'm capable of. Know every day in here, my team, my coaches and stuff. Know what I'm capable of. I wouldn't be. Know what I mean? John wouldn't have been like, nah, wouldn't even have told me about this. He wouldn't have thought I was ready for it. You know what I mean? So. We're in here every day now and putting it in and just keep going now. It's, I'm not, it's like everyone should probably think like, uh, it's just like putting everything in towards this fight. But I'm not, do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm working towards the belt. I'm not working just towards this fight. I'm putting everything in now until I get that belt and we're not stopping until the job's done. <laughs> do you think it's interesting though because over the last year and a bit you've had to adjust your training for many different things like still fighting at amateur then your first pro fight then a bit of momentum at pro and now for such a big step are you thinking like were you second doubting maybe what you were doing before and now it's time to do more were you confident in everything that you'd be doing because it seems like you're not out of the gym these days no it was definitely like I never doubted what I'd done anything before you know what I mean but, but you don't fix what's not broke do you know what I mean so but then John sat me down one day and and now we start a new like cardio program with uh, myhealthmatters.ie and um, uh, they're putting me through my cardio and my fitness kind of training so uh, my cardio and stuff's up to scratch for the fight and then every day I'm in here with John do you know what I mean uh, getting better and improving on, on my, my skills so, um, so there's no corners cutting this time it's it's you know what I mean it's the best where everything is covered everything's cleared from when I wake up in the morning I check my heart rate so I know how much I have to push myself that day, I put it on, so I know how much I'm pushing myself in training, so everything's covered, you know what I mean? I, I've done, like, when I go in here now, and like I know I've done everything I have possible, and I'm going to go in and give it my all, and that's that's all I can do, I've covered everything. Is it the sort of thing, like, if we talk about your opponent, he fought on the last Bama card that you also fought at, fought against Decky Dalton, did you see the fight, did you take anything from it, when you were told the match-up, were you like, nah, this is actually a good match-up for me, I like it? Yeah, I remember... Uh, when I got offered the fight on uh, Bama last time, uh, John was asking uh, who to want to fight, and then I asked for someone else, and they wouldn't give me him. They wouldn't let, didn't want him. They didn't want to deal with him anymore. And then I asked for him, and then your guy Mike Cutting, because the other guy uh, beat him, and then it didn't come through or whatever. Then I got Sean Tobin. And then that just show got pulled, and then now I've got him. So I'm gonna go in here now and give it everything in July 16th, and I want to come out the winner. A couple of things he said in interviews. He said he would like to exchange with you on the ground. At the same time, though, not in a trash talk way. He said he, he likes you. He says you're focused, you're driven, but that's where he would like to test you. Yeah. Three wins by submission in your pro career yeah. so far. Do you think that's a, maybe an oversight on his part? Yeah. Good luck. Do you know what I mean? We'll, we'll soon see who's the better man on July 16th. You know what I mean? And in here every day training me, we guys. Uh, do you know what I mean? He knows who I'm training with. He knows who I am. Who's he? Who's he training with? Do you know what I mean? I don't even know where, where he comes from. Do you know what I mean? But he knows where I come from. He knows. You know what I mean? What I'm doing. And there's a reason for that. And uh, on July 16th, I'm going to show what the reason is. You've been very well supported in Ireland from Straban, from people all around the country. Yeah. Um, marking you as a prospect, this and that. Even 
casual fans now sending yeah. tweets saying, yeah, going to go see James yeah. at Bellator yeah. or James at Bama. How do you imagine the support is going to be? You're going over to fight an Englishman in England in front of 20,000 people, as you said. Yeah. Hostile territory. <laughs> it's not hostile territory. It won't be. It's going to be It's going to be like a home show for me. Like The amount of people, especially in like Straban and stuff, you know what I mean? I'm just like... The amount of people that's going over to, to watch me and the amount of people have flights booked and do you know what I mean it's not cheap to go over and do something like that it's probably going to cost people you know, go say a thousand pound or whatever to, to fly over and tickets and accommodation or whatever do you know what I mean but just for people to like to come over and support me you know what I mean I'm like it's it just feels like a not no one can take that kind of feeling away from me do you know what I mean the, just that support and like they're they're really like getting behind me because I'm just putting everything into something I love and then people like admire that and they're, they're support me and especially from where I come from, Mr. Banjo, you know I mean it's just a small place and just for me now to really like break away and get away from everything and put my mind into something and all oh, my dreams come true to really step out on live TV in the main car, no two is like do you know what I mean? It's not, where I come from no one has no one has ever really done that done that, that kind of thing before and it just means so much to me to really do that. On that, let's talk best case scenarios because I know we always do. Um, if I goes to plan on July sixteenth, yeah. I know you are. I know you are looking to get the debut in the states. Is that something we want to see sooner rather than later? How many times are we going to see you fight this year? No, I, I want it on the the UK card. It, make, it made sense, you know what I mean? Because only bring a lot of people like over with me, and uh, so it made sense to be in the UK card. But they wanted me on the bigger shows in in America, but. Then they came to me then, they were like London, the main card, and I was all, let's do it, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm in shape, I've been training hard, and I'm in shape, I'm ready to go. And Then I'd say, imagine I'll have this one, I'll go in and submit him in the first round, and then I'd say September time, then we'll go again in the States. Lovely. One fight, it's just come into me now, I'm drawing comparisons. I can remember when Connor got signed to the UFC and he wanted to use it as his position to be able to bring the guys into the UFC behind him. As a younger pro, as a lower record pro getting signed to Bellator, do you feel, feel good performance from you would encourage them maybe to look at the Irish scene and think, OK, if we took that guy in, maybe we're going to bring more Irish guys into the company? Yeah, definitely. Do you know what I mean? They're, once they see me and see the, how I fight, and they're going to obviously have like, be like, oh, who's, who's he training with? Who's, you know what I mean? Who's, what's, who's with him and, and stuff? Do you know what I mean? And especially when we go over, you know what I mean? I'm, we're going to go over... I'm, uh, John's way in Vegas, so uh, he'll he'll not be able to come. But me, Kane, and Kiefer is going. Do you know what I mean? And and they and they'll be they'll be keeping an eye. Do you know what I mean? And that we're going to go over and make a statement. And and they'll 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 be back here. I, Belter's going to have a show in Ireland. Do you know what I mean? I'm definitely going to have that, and I'm going to headline it. So that's the way it's going to go. I'm going to go and make a statement, and then that'll happen then in the next year or so. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Thanks Best of luck in your fight. Very,